Please subscribe to this YouTube channel Mentor Talk Can Do Press Bell Button for Notifications. Well, let us now discuss the public speaking techniques from the action place. This is when the actual public speaking is happening. Firstly, regain composure and self-control. Anxiety is an emotion which is integral part of any human being. The degrees of anxiety and apprehension may vary from person to person, but it is there in each one of us. Once you have got it under control, your potential to speak or do for anything for that matter optimizes. Your potential optimizes once your anxiety is under control. Do not attempt to display your importance or position by, you know, reaching just on time or little late at the event where you are speaking just to exercise your dominance. Don't do that. You, sh you should reach the venue of speaking uh, fairly in advance so that you get the complete idea, you know, sense and, and feel of the ambience and, and the mood and the vibe all around. The whole interaction before your session commences will put you at ease and calm your anxious emotions. Further, you get to know exactly and literally the, you know, the format of, of, uh, of, of your session. It will also give you an opportunity to set up your notebook or PowerPoint, uh, position yourself uh, and test any ancillary audiovisual equipment so that there are no last movement you know glitches you know and and those last movement or last minute glitches you know can can really spoil the whole public speaking module and put you in, in an unnecessary strain secondly st start with comfort and reassurance when commencing your talk and speech do not sound or look flustered or hasty keep your body language calm and reach out to the audience with some expressions of greetings. To begin with, this, you know, shows you are in, in control and, and, and in command. You have a, you know, you can, you can have a brief conversation with the audience to, to you know, sort of bring, bring them in sync with you. This is like channelizing the attention of the audience. Give a brief introduction about yourself brief introduction about yourself if you are not already introduced uh, then you know introduce fleetingly you know about the theme uh, or, or the talk uh, of your talk or speech this you know connects the audience and the speaker now assuming that your anxiety levels are not coming down and you are a little nervous it does not matter because there is a solution to every situation. Audience will love honesty. Have a joke or two handy to crack for a nervous situation. Acknowledge that you are good in everything you do. You are good in being nervous as well. Turn it into, into your favor by saying that, you know, for example, saying that, you know, an applause or two makes my nervousness disappear. So why not you cheer me up once? Or you could say something like that or something similar, you know, to, to kind of break the ice and, and to, to bring your anxiety levels uh, to, to, uh, under control. Thirdly, keep your volume moderately high. Yes, keep your volume moderately high, but tempo and pitch low and slow. Try to differentiate. You should be loud enough to be heard by all in the audience without them requiring uh, making any effort, extra effort to hear you. But if you pace up your tempo and pitch, your loudness and intensity are futile. Some people, you know, get so much bothered by timelines as their contents of speech are so lengthy that they want to fit in a one hour speech into a half, half hour slot that messes up the delivery of speech. They speak as if, you know, they're, they're, they're running a marathon. Never ever commit that mistake. Be concise and clear and easily understandable. Do not sound 
as if you have to catch a flight next minute. Use simple vocabulary. Fourthly, visually engage with the audience. As I had mentioned in one of uh, my previous videos, when you address and speak to the audience, you should be looking at them. This creates a natural attention span between you and the audience or between the audience and you. By looking, I do not mean looking at them blankly. You have to have, you know, emotions in your voice an expression on your face as if, you know, the audience are a set of few individuals you are interacting with. You know, there is some handful of individuals you are interacting with. Imagine that even if they are in hundreds, then, you know, do not shake your body, but feel free to look at different in different directions in, at, the, at the audience so that no section or segment of audience is left out. Try having eye contact with as many people as possible in the audience. Yes, that's very important because, the, you know, this establishes a sense of belongingness and natural and, and introduces a natural, I, I would say, mutual, uh, natural mutual respect between the speaker and the audience. Play to the gallery. That's my fifth point. When you're speaking, have complete presence of mind and be fully aware of how audience is reacting. If they applaud, give a pause and let them enjoy that moment of response. And you also enjoy that recognition and acknowledgement. Where they reflect some confusion through their facial expressions, elucidate that point of communication a little more so that they understand it better. Where you find them unsettled, try to divert by divert their attention by sharing some anecdote or, or a humorous piece uh, of information or a comical illustration. This is known as reboot technique to bring back the audience into an attention span. Or you could even share a short brain stimulating quiz to get the audience more attentive and involved. While speaking, feel free to move your arms and hands. As you must have noticed, I'm, I'm moving my hands and arms but in moderation and it should synchronize with your script. This is known as body language. Then sixth point, be your own judge. Do not get entangled in a thought of rejection or apprehension. This is a common feeling, you know, many speakers get the moment they climb up on the stage to speak. They start to think and get in a web of fear uh, regarding how the audience will react. They get a little scared, you know, and, and apprehensive. You should just be concerned about your delivery of speech or talk when you are on the stage, period. And you will, you, you will see yourself things falling in place. And, you know, do not sound like a preacher or a, or a teacher, you know, or, or some sort of a spiritual guru, but, but sound like a communicator a friend, a philosopher and guide. Well, friends, this ends the third lecture, video lecture. And finally, you know, we will move uh, to the to the final lecture uh, in the next video, which is uh, about, uh, you know, technical specifications regarding virtual public speaking and video talks, including webinars. subscribe to this YouTube channel Mentor Talk and do press bell button for notifications.